What would you say to somebody who said, it's just a mask. Just put it on when you're around people you don't know and you can't be a distant from them. What would you say if someone told you it's just a vaccine? Stick it in your arm. This is for the health of the community. Do it. I've had a flu shot before. Yeah, but what if they made you? I guess that's a little different in playing devil's advocate, putting something in my body as opposed to wearing a piece of fabric over my face. Uh, the government believes they can do that. But that has never happened. Uh, it, well, that, that's, that's my point. There's, there's no breaks on their system. They tell you to wear a mask. Well, what's stopping you? For the sake of the health of the community, we have a health emergency here. You need to have a vaccine. And the problem is, it's just bad government. It's bad uh, resolution. It's bad politics. It's bad laws all the way around. And we need to be able to make the connection between it's just a mask and taking away our massive civil liber liberties of my right to worship on, uh, in a parking lot on Wednesday afternoon. Well, this was obviously more than just a religious gathering on a Wednesday afternoon. To be clear, nobody was cited for worshiping in a parking lot. You could say they got the publicity they were looking for, sure. But since it's the first citations that we've seen here in Idaho, we couldn't actually ignore it. Ranch and the church claim the mask mandate should be rescinded since Latah County has had less than 350 COVID cases. Hospitalization numbers are low and they've had no deaths. The city council believes the mask mandate is why. The Psalm sing lasted a total of about 15 minutes, and by the end, there were three arrests, five citations for violating the mask mandate, including two of those people cited for resisting and obstructing. Obstructing. All of those are misdemeanors. And when I asked Moscow police why this gathering was different than the others the church has organized, Chief James Fry told me late this afternoon they haven't been to any other recent church events. And they've been educating the people of Moscow for about four and a half months now about this mandate. And Chief Fry said they have about 90% compliance across the city. But at some point, he said, education has to turn to enforcement. And that's why that happened yesterday.